And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of The Flash Season 5, Episode 2. And in this episode, it was a pretty simple episode. It wasn't big, it wasn't like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened or like things like that. It was just a very simple episode and I, I, I liked it. It felt like it had three, like three stories to it. So, the first story, basically, you had um, Barry and Nora doing their father-daughter bonding, you know. And then, of course, they both, you know, revealed that in the future and the reason that Nora was, you know, staying with them was the fact that Barry, uh, he disappears in the future. And, you know, Nora wanted to meet her father and spend time with them. And the best thing about this episode the, 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 and that part was the fact that Iris is like, so? I mean, we changed the timeline so many times, we can fix this. I was like, wow, I'm very impressed with that. Very impressed. She didn't go start crying like a baby like she normally does, but it was pretty cool for once she did. So we had that. So then Nora and, you know, Barry got to do some CSI stuff. That was cool. They end up meeting this um this meta human who has like the power to I guess trap people in this like I guess weird cocoon type thing and she she's just trying to get weapons so she can sell them for herself very basic villain whatever anyway then you have in another kind of like story element you have um Ralph Caitlin. Trying to help out a bummed out Cisco, the fact that him and Gypsy know more, and the fact that you know they're just trying to you know cheer him up because he doesn't want to vibe anymore. He doesn't want to help right now at the point. At that point, he doesn't want to help Caitlyn figure out the whole mystery about her father pretending to be dead and what's going on with that. How's that tie in her with Killer Frost? So there's that, and that stuff was. I really hate to say it, whatever. I didn't really care for that part at all, but. And then you have Cecile and Joe, you know, Cecile apparently losing her, her ability to read minds about feeling what the baby, you know, is telling her through her mind. So there's that. And like I said, a very simple episode. But the ending of this episode is pretty interesting. But before I get to that, we do get to see Cicada as apparently is the new bad guy. He looks like to be a boxer because it was one shot of him, like, I guess, taping his arms He's either a boxer, a trainer, or whatever he is. And then we do see him again. We do see him again. He ends up killing the mother human that Barry and Nora stop. And um, and then, of course, he literally throws his lightning bolt knife. And he absorbs Barry, uh, Ralph, and Vibes' powers, a little bit of it. And then literally goes down and beats the holy hell out of all three of them. So that was very interesting. So, who he is, we have no idea yet. A lot of people are suggesting that he could be from the future. He could be a metahuman who probably got the, his powers the same day as Barry. And he's connected to him somehow. There's that theory. There's a whole bunch of theories out there I don't even know anymore. There's just so much to think about. I've seen this, Arrow, and Legends is coming back next week. So, there's going to be really so much to think about. But, um, yeah, like I said, it was a very simple episode. So uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys thought about it, and stay tuned for more, and thank you very much, and have a good day.